Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uh, did a video and um, this will be my, I guess, 2021 first uh, luxury haul unboxing video for you guys. So hope you enjoy. Um, not gonna lie, some of these have already been unboxed because I got them, some of them I got for Christmas and um, I already unboxed them so they're not gonna be true unboxing. However, there are a few items that I have not yet opened, so I'll let you know when I have, um, uh, which ones are true unboxings and which ones are not, I guess. And uh, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. My name is Elaine. I've been quite lazy and procrastinating, but hopefully I'm starting the year off with, you know, this video now and um, that everyone can, everyone can enjoy. So. Uh, if you like this type of content, please keep watching and uh, subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up if you can. So right now, let me just start with, um, let me see, LV, okay? Because I wanted uh, to also show some of the packaging, uh, holiday packaging I've received that I wanted to do a comparison between the game on as well as the Christmas holiday packaging that they've now recalled. But let me first get into this uh, LV unboxing. So this is their Game On collection that came out in November 2020, I believe. It's the cloth. I love the side of this. And there's a heart on this side. Then we have the receipt, which I guess you guys don't care about. And I asked uh, my CA to um, help pack everything nicely. I do, I mean, my CA previously gave me um, the Game On. It's a thicker blue type of ribbon as well as a gift card. I have a few of those, but I don't know where I placed it. So unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys in this video. But um, let's get with the unboxing. So this is just the original uh, gift card, Carrie. And obviously, this is something from the Game On collection. Does anyone have a guess what it is? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's the... Game on playing cards in the white monogram. I saw a few, few people post this um, card holder on YouTube and I fell in love with it because um, not only is it does it carry hold playing cards, but uh, we, m mostly we bought it for the pouch itself and we can convert this card holder into a mini cross body bag so inside you can see is red and it's kind of like suede and then here is the playing cards which I will not open in this uh, video but you can see that the sides are gold and I believe that um, the details inside are uh, with the with the game on collection so you'll see the the same type of uh, you know motif LV motif and heart and clubs and whatnot so this these are playing cards and I'm hoping to that I can start making use of this uh, card holder in my collection so this is the first item I'll put that aside. Let's continue on with some LV products. So this I've already unboxed and um, I didn't bother putting it in the box, but I do have the game on tissue paper that the CA gave me. 
Um, I don't have much use for it, but I do definitely want to keep this just as a collector's item. I like to collect, you know, special limited edition things, including tissue paper and all things pretty and packaging. So I'll show you that. And then in here we have, again, we see. more packaging so uh she gave me a whole bunch of the holiday packaging ribbon and inside you can see that i've also I'll also received oh okay here we go the gift cards are here so i have these ones oops drop those and you can compare so unfortunately i I dropped water on on some of my packaging stuff and so you could see that I understand why LV would recall this line um, the Christmas holiday line because it's it you could feel like I, I don't know if you can see it up close but you could feel that it's kind of like cardboardy and when water hits it it may um, uh, stain and leak and so it's it, it ran a little bit whereas the material on the game on card is more like it looks like it's just printed more professionally done so i definitely do like the game on collection um design and quality more than the christmas holiday packaging which lv has since recalled all holiday packaging um in december okay so i thought i'd share that with you I like to keep everything silly me right but I really really like packaging so put that away and like I said I didn't bother putting this back in the card but I got the again game on cosmetic pouch I love this so pretty And this piece is, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but it's made in France. So because this cosmetic pouch, I, again, I can convert it and make it into a cross um, body bag if I want. So stay tuned when one day I have a number of projects coming up. I love doing DIY and uh, making use of mini pouches and you know clutches and i'll turn them and then i add accessory to it and i turn them into you know crossbody bags or handbags okay so this is the cost game on um cosmetic pouch and then we have uh gucci i definitely wanted to showcase their new packaging this is a permanent line so they have replaced the screen packaging with their um black and white i confirmed with the gucci sales that uh going forward they're going to be using the screen rather than black and white packaging and i absolutely adore this new gucci um color because if you look at everything matches it's just so beautiful so I also unboxed this because I, I already uh, wore it or, or used it, um, but I just thought that I'd wrap it back up so that I could show it to you guys. But isn't, isn't it lovely, the screen? I love it. Okay, and let's see what we have here. And now uh, we have a scarf. It's been super, super cold in Hong Kong. I live in Hong Kong. And I'm glad that, you know, I have this scarf now. I love it. It's reversible in pink and light blue. You can see. And let me show you the other side.
So that's that. I've already worn it out. Keeps me very warm. Our final unboxing with a Dior. So I, I, as you know, like I love packaging and I would say that um, in 2020 holiday packaging, my favorite would, well, I don't know if it's my favorite. I actually really, really love the, the Game On collection, as you can see. But, I mean, you have to give the winner to Dior just because look at the details of this bag. And Dior always has really nice, fancy packaging, holiday packaging. And look at the gold detailing. It's just like so beautiful. And different sizes of the bags are um different designs so i have gotten this this size of the bag and it looks like this but if you get a smaller one or the larger ones they have the um pink and purple metallic overtone so i mean i didn't get anything from dior of that that size and scale like i didn't get a bag so already time to tell you that this is not a bag but um they have different uh, designs for every single different size which I find you know I just love when companies think about that and you know put in effort and you know spend all the time to you know make sure that their packaging is so beautiful like customers like me would completely buy into it and buy something from the shop just because of packaging so yeah this year I would definitely say that Dior won it for holiday packaging look at the the ribbon and bow okay so what did I get so unfortunately when I went to buy this they did not have this holiday packaging box they only had a few of these bags left and that's why um, I wasn't able to get the holiday packaging from another Dior Dior shop because unfortunately they sold out at another shop but at the uh, flagship store in Landmark, Hong Kong, they had several left, but they didn't have the box. So, what did I get? Let's see. Okay. So this is how their receipts look like. Okay. And da 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 da. I got their notebook, which is the, uh, I don't remember, this is called the Carnet Toilette de Jouet um, design back, I think it was last year, 2019, and it's so, so gorgeous. Now, I only found out about these notebooks um, the, towards end of last year, and, and so I, I bought one for myself in the blue color they come in four colors blue gray red and uh light like light, light like pink kind of like lighter red but it's not exactly pink and i decided to uh choose the blue one just because it the, the contract is more obvious and um this is a true embossing i haven't opened and looked at the inside though i know it's just blank and there's no lines but I will use these as even decorations to put in my currently you can see this is my open closet or bag room I call it now and so oh sorry this is not coming out as easy as it takes okay there we go And you can see that they have a little uh, Dior, it says Dior there, and every page is just blank. It's also gold. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so I got a mini notebook. And then I also got accessories, and they ran out of boxes. <laughs> so silly, and they had the old boxes left and asked them you know that to to give me that and so this is also this one is not a true unboxing I've already worn these but just to show you they are 
Dior's old packaging is so beautiful too as well. And like a little bit, a uh, little care booklet. And these are the earrings that Which is, let's see, these Dior pearl studs, you know, but with the Dior word on it. So let's see if I can show that better. And I, I love these. Actually, I love Dior accessories in general. Dior and Chanel. I think they have the top of the line and more my aesthetics. So these earrings. And then the final Dior thing that I got is, I haven't opened this yet. It looks like it's a big box. They have, they gave me a gift card actually. I think it's just plain white. Mm, yep. So I'll put that in there. And then. Can you kind of see what I got? Uh, so it's another notebook, but in the red. Um, I mean, when I bought the blue one, I couldn't decide whether I wanted um, the red one as well. And then I, I went home and then I looked at it more and I thought like, if I'm going to use it as display or maybe like, I don't know if it'll be sold out at any time soon. So I went to another shop when, when I happened to go to another shop the other day. I decided just to go check out Dior and uh, fortunately they did have the red notebook so now I can match it with my blue one. They didn't have the holiday packaging but I asked that you know they box it up because they did have that box and so they put it into the, the, the original or classic Dior packaging but let's see the two. Okay, so that's basically all I have for today in terms of my unboxing. Did you find any products that you you liked, and uh, what did you get for Christmas? And you know, did you have a nice holiday over Christmas? I'd love to hear from you and down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think of my haul and. I hope everyone had an amazing um, New Year's. Thanks everyone for joining and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.